truckload of brazenness went into ripping off this gun store in Oxford Township early Tuesday morning. Cops say someone drove a truck straight into Acme Shooting Goods and grabbed several firearms before taking off. It's the same store where James Crumbly, the father of Oxford High School shooter Ethan Crumbly, purchased the gun that was used to kill four students and wound several others in November of 2021. This is the uh, first time I'm hearing of something of this nature. Um, it's a pretty ballsy move to do. Firearm enthusiast Marvin Montgomery did not expect to hear of such a thing while he was out at a nearby gun range working on his shooting skills. He says crimes like these make you hope for the best in an unfortunate situation. Oh, of course, we always think the worst uh, because it's not per se in the right hands. Uh, but hopefully they do something positive with it, whether it's starting a shooting team or a shooting club. The Oakland County Sheriff's Office reported an alarm going off inside the gun store early Tuesday. Investigators noticed a gaping hole in the building once they got to the scene and saw that several guns were missing. I just pray and I'm sure we all pray that it doesn't lead to more gun violence. Acme store management declined to talk on camera and said law enforcement asked them not to publicly share any surveillance video that would show the theft. Police continue to investigate amid fears of where the stolen guns might end up. Hopefully again, like I said, everything pans out and whether those fellows are caught or ladies are caught or uh, we just don't hear about, you know, anything bad going on, particularly with that product. That is always that major concern where those guns will end up. As we said, the Sheriff's Department being very tight-lipped about this, oftentimes to see if there might be any sort of pattern in these kinds of robberies. Uh, they do bring in outside in agencies like state or federal law enforcement to assist in that case, but we will look forward to seeing what the Sheriff's Department has to say when they're ready to talk about this one. Reporting live in Pontiac, Dave Kinchin, Fox 2 News. Yeah, Dave, starting a shooting club with a bunch of illegal guns. Uh, I wish we all shared that optimism that that's as far as this would go. You'd hope, though, the sheriff's deputies aren't far from nabbing these folks. The video should help whatever it ends up showing. Yeah, video really should help. We want to point out, too, we did check several other businesses in the area. Some do have surveillance cameras that might be pointed at that front entrance area, although they're going to get back to us tomorrow to see if they actually, their cameras might have recorded something. So police may be looking at that, too. It's not just surveillance on the actual business that was robbed, but other agencies and other even traffic cameras that they pick up once they get a lead on that vehicle. That sort of thing goes into this as well. Yeah, it's hard to do anything without cameras looking at you from any direction in this day and age. Dave Kinchin for us live. Thank you.